First up is AB 562 relating adding rural ambulance or emergency medical services providers to the Emergency Medical Service Board with two wonderful people, Representative Trannell and Senator Markland. <laughs> Well, good morning. Thank you for uh, hearing 562 today. You have my written testimony, so I will not read it. It is a simple bill. Uh, over the course of the last several sessions, uh, Senator Markline and a number of you and a number of people in the legislature actually have uh, made it an effort to recognize the efforts that our volunteer fire and EMS people do, especially in rural areas, and we've tried to make a concentrated effort on making it more realistic for them to serve. And in doing so, we have found that one of the roadblocks and obstacles that they run into is a lot of times the state's emergency medical service board gives advice or votes in ways that aren't necessarily in their best interest. And so currently there are 11 voting members on uh, the Emergency Medical Service Board. This legislation simply adds two more voting members and says that they need to be a, from a rural volunteer uh, service. Uh, that's rough. So if you added two more, that would roughly make it about 15% of the board would be uh, required to be volunteer. Uh, currently, and I'm sure Senator Markline will get into the numbers as he always does. We may even get some. Are we going to get any pie graphs or chart charts? Maybe <laughs> we could. Okay. Uh, but over half the state is served by volunteer EMS. And so I think it's important. I think it makes sense that they have a voice uh, on this board. So with that, uh, again, thank you for hearing this, and I will turn it over to Senator Markline. Well, thank you, um, <clears throat> committee members, uh, Chair Novak, for uh, having this hearing. Um, over the last probably six or eight years, I've conducted a number of uh, rural EMS summits in, in my district, and we did that again earlier in, in 2023. And uh, this legislation is a result of the feedback that we uh, received at those uh, EMS summits. And, you know, I represent a, a rural district. My, my biggest uh, town is a uh, little over 10,000 people, okay? Uh, so I've got a lot of small rural EMS unit as uh, Representative uh, Novak and, and, and uh, Representative uh, Trannell uh, know, know well. So, um, and again, we're not taking anything away from Milwaukee, Janesville, Madison, <coughs> larger communities, okay? Um, what we want to do is make sure that our smaller communities, uh, smaller volunteer uh, communities have a voice uh, at, at the table. And when, when I look at the current composition of the, uh, the EMS board, uh, they reside in Milwaukee, Milwaukee, La Crosse, Rapids, Cudahy, Milwaukee, um, and the, the level of, um, that they're licensed at is uh, paramedic, paramedic, EMS physician, paramedic, paramedic, medical director, PhD, and medical director, okay? And again, what we want to have is really two things. One is uh, representatives from rural areas, and secondly, uh, people that are licensed below the paramedic level so that we have, have uh, you know, EMTs uh, at the table. So uh, anyway, um, as Representative uh, Trannell said, you know, it's a simple bill. We're not taking away anything from the, the urban communities, um, but it's important that our rural areas have a voice at the table too. So with that, I think we'll take questions. <coughs> 